Good morning and welcome back to GNN. We have a short list of announcements this week, so listen up. In case you missed it, our prediction came true and the Broncos are off to the big game in New York. Yep, the Seattle Seahawks and our Denver Broncos are getting together for a Super Bowl in the balmy temps of New York City. Yep, that's Super Bowl 48 in the Big Apple, in case you weren't counting at home. It'll be more like 48 below. <laughs> uh, hope you're all as pumped up as we are. Next week we'll offer some party ideas for the big game in case you are new to all the football hoopla. Well, here in Netherland, we're also excited about robotics. Robotics still needs help with all kinds of things. They're working every day after school from 3.30 to 6 p.m. You don't need to know a lot. They're happy to teach you. It is open to all high school students and any interested 8th graders. Someday, the Super Bowl will be played by robots, so this is your chance to get in on the ground floor. Seniors, if you need your mid-year transcripts sent to your desired colleges or universities, you must fill out a form letting the counseling office know. You must also let us know if you applied via Common App. Go to college. Also, seniors who plan on graduating this year, get your senior photos and quotes into Patch ASAP. You don't want to be left out of the slideshow or the yearbook, do you? <coughs> Yearbooks are available for $48, and the price will only go up. And to help inspire you, the first senior who can identify the famous person from this old dusty yearbook photo will earn $5 off their 2014 Netherland yearbook. First one to tell Patch is the winner. Ready? Go! Attention all SOS members, there will be a meeting next Monday the 27th in the library at lunch. Congrats to all the students who took the TCAP or ACT tests in the last three years. Why thanks Sam, it was nothing. All the great classes and teachers here made it a piece of cake. And it also paid off in earning Netherland an impressive score in some recent rankings by ColoradoSchoolGrades.com. Netherland High School was one of only two schools in the Boulder Valley District to earn an A, and the other was Peak to Peak Charter. Nice work, Panthers. And nice work, Pumas. That's the Peak to Peak mascot. Let's keep it going and do it again in 2014. What's the difference between a Panther and a Puma anyway? Yeah, I don't really know, but I do know it's time to check in with Noah and see what's going on in the wide, wide world of Netherlands sport. Thanks, guys. And to answer your question, a Puma is a large wildcat that lives in warmer climates like South America. The Panther, however, is a creature out of ancient myth that resembles a big cat with a multicolored hide. Under medieval belief, after feasting, the panther will sleep in a cave for a total of three days. After this period ends, the panther roars, in the process emitting a sweet-smelling odor. This odor draws in any creatures who smell it, the dragon being the only creature immune. And the cycle begins again. Just thought you might want to know. So hey athletes, or students who want to get in shape, the weight room will be open after school now, Monday through Thursday until 4.30ish. The weight room is undergoing some upgrades and needs some attention from all of us. So show up, bring a pal, and I hope to see you there next week. Our basketball and ski teams are improving every week and could all use some more fans and support as they enter the back half of winter sports season. Good luck to our alpine ski racers who tear it up at Beaver Creek today and to our hoopsters who take on Alexander Dawson this evening, evening at home. The basketball action starts at 5 p.m. Both teams will also host games next Tuesday. Come cheer on the Panthers. Our Nordic ski racers will also be in action this weekend, racing the trails in Steamboat. Good luck skinny skiers. Thanks for watching. It's, it's all, all good, good in the tall woods. woods.